What in the world is Zudomayo? Before a couple of months ago, I had no idea myself. That is, until one of my viewers sent me a message urging me to check out some of his favorite J-pop music. And when I heard it, I could immediately hear the influence of American dance and funk, rock music and jazz, all turned up to 10. It's like a video game. Non-stop movement, layers of sound, and bright colors. And perhaps no group out there is doing it better right now than Zutomayo. Full name, Zutomaya Nakade Inoni, which translates to I wish it was midnight all the time, but stylized as Zutomayo. The group was born in 2018 and consists of a secret and revolving cast of musicians and producers, all led by a vocalist and songwriter named Akane. Look them up. You'll see an entire stage of masked musicians playing some of the most precise and intense music ever with millions of views. And you'll also notice that driving that music is just some of the most ridiculous bass playing you'll ever hear. If you've seen the anime Chainsaw Man, you know what I'm talking about. My favorite Zutomayo song ticks every box when it comes to bass playing, including an amazing groove, ridiculous fills, and a jaw-dropping bass solo right in the middle of the song. <laughs> Study Me was released in May of 2020 and quickly became one of the band's most popular songs. It's built around a fairly simple chord progression that keeps coming back to C minor. That sets the table for a very active bass line. There's also other instruments that stand out in the orchestration of this song, like electric guitar, piano, and the string parts are fire. And there's even what sounds like a hat tip to Victor Wooten right before the second chorus. Oh, Damn. And at about 90 seconds in, we get a bass solo. Let's see if I can pull this off. This is a killing 8-bar solo that's using some simple tools to make a great sound. He's using that two-note motif, those two Gs, as a theme that he keeps coming back to throughout the solo. Remember those chords? That G is a common tone. It works over all of those chords. This solo is mostly C minor and C blues scale ideas, but when you add a few color tones, like that D that he plays, you add a little more flavor to your sound. This is dope. This line outlines a G7 flat 9 flat 13 chord going right into a C minor 9. Very bebop, and I love it. That's jazz, y'all. The two note motif returns, it develops, and then brings us back to that singing D. And 
I love how it descends into its climax. Back to the bass. Back to the root of the chord. It's brilliant. And the mystery bassist that played this brilliant line is the amazing Ryosuke Nikamoto, a seasoned Japanese session bassist who's recorded with the likes of Kira Ray, Ri, aka Suzaku, and UKM Rampage, among others. Suffice it to say, this dude can play. About playing on Study Me, he tweeted, I'm playing the best Stingray ever. After the first chorus, there's an unexpected bass solo with a fill before the second chorus and a rush to the third chorus. So please invite your friends, relatives, and neighbors to listen. Amazing. Yet another bass player on this planet to keep me up late at night. I want to give a huge shout out to my man Daryl on Instagram for starting me down this incredible rabbit hole. And Arigato Ryosuke-san. I'm going to practice.